Now, I, I want to spend a, a minute or two here, if you would, just telling you about a guy I know. Um, this guy, born very poor, very poor in a small rural town in Australia. No paved roads, no traffic lights, playing cricket in the streets the way, you know, the way producer Dave played stickball. In the streets, they played cricket because it was Australia. Not just producer Dave, my dad, too. Uh, born in 1944, his parents gave him two middle names. This man's name is Robert James Maxwell Bailey. Started in school in 1950 at a little place called Amberley State, where... They made him right with his right hand, even though he was mostly left-handed. Moved on to another school called North Ipswich. Ipswich was the town that he grew up in, and, and he was really into sports as a kid. Football, which means rugby over there. Cricket, not really that good in school. Never got great grades, was more of a great athlete. There was one time... By the way, just, you know, as as uh, growing up kind of poor, they had to make money however he could. And one thing that he used to do would be go out with some friends into a rural area, almost the outback, you'd call it, and shoot kangaroos and sell their furs. One time, one of his friends made a big mistake and accidentally shot him in the leg with the shotgun and the pellets are in his leg to this day a fraction of an inch away they said it would have severed his femoral artery and he would have bled to death very very tough tough guy now robert james maxwell bailey started writing a poem about his life a few months ago. And he got through a dozen verses or so till roughly the time where he would have been in his late teens going to get his first job working for some accountants in Brisbane, Australia. He still had to go back home. As he says in his poem, I really had to go back home to survive. Where I could borrow my board back from my dear mum every second week. And in his job in Australia, in his first job working for these auditors and accountants, he got, as he said, a, a good lesson in economics with constant parties at his apartment, uh, which left him broke every weekend. A good lesson in economics, indeed. And that's as far as he got in writing his poem, although in life, he got much further. He took his lessons in economics and started a business. He started a, uh, basically a fiberglass insulation business, kind of like that pink stuff you think of normally with Owens Corning here in the U.S. He started a company doing that in Australia and ended up selling it to another company and quite a lot of money. A, a real rags to riches story but more important than any of that robert james maxwell bailey is a tremendous guy generous in every sense of the word generous in spirit and deeply loving of his family especially his daughter who is my wife Two months ago, Bob Bailey was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer, a truly merciless disease. And last night, he died. And it leaves me thinking, you know, as I read the poem of his life that he began but never got to finish. 
how much more I wish I knew about the guy. I've spent lots of time with him. I moved to Australia after meeting my wife a year earlier. I moved there to chase her down and uh, and get her to marry me, and then that worked. And I got to spend a lot of time with Bob Bailey, including when I asked him if it was okay to marry his daughter. And he was truly a wonderful man, one of the best people I've met in my entire life. So generous. We're taking a family vacation starting tomorrow morning, going to Asia and Australia. And Bob actually paid for our airfare. And the end of the trip was supposed to be for Bob's 70th birthday, but instead it's going to be for his funeral. And we're trying to have our kids understand. And I'm trying to stay strong for my wife. It's hard. I love the guy too. As we go into this holiday season, I want to encourage you all. I mean, Bob was only 70 years old and he worked many years and he was really looking forward to enjoying retirement with his wife, Diane, my wife's mom. And then he's gone. And I want to encourage you all Don't take people for granted, the people you love, the people around you. You just never know. And when it goes, it can go so fast. (sighs) Ah.